This video will guide you through the filling and bleeding procedure for a Magura MCI system. You can find information about the tools you will need in the video description. Please note that the EBT opening for bleeding the MCI system is at the end of the master cylinder unit. As preparation, you must first remove the grip from the handlebar in order to have access to the master cylinder and the EBT screw. Remove the grip using an appropriate tool. Separate the handlebar from the stem unit so that you can turn the handlebar up by 90 degrees for bleeding. The bleed screw will then be at the highest point of the system. For this purpose, first open the screws of the handlebar clamp on the stem unit. Align the handlebar so that the master cylinder unit of the brake faces vertically upwards and remove the screws on the brake caliper afterwards with a Torx T25 tool so that the caliper can be taken from the frame or fork. Then, push the pistons of the calipers back in their starting position. Next, remove the pad retaining screw so that you can pull out the pads. Lift the pads out of the brake. Replace the pad retaining screw without tightening it. This screw is needed to hold the transport retainer in the correct position. Push the transport device between the pistons with the thick side first until it clicks into the screw. The MCI uses Magura Royal Blood Mineral Oil as brake fluid. Royal Blood and Magura service kits can be obtained from our partner retail dealers. For bleeding the system, you will need two syringes, one with a hole and one without a hole. Attach the tube and filling nozzle to the syringe without a hole and fill the syringe with a sufficient quantity of Royal Blood Mineral Oil. Then, open the bleed screw on the brake caliper with a Torx T25 tool. Watch out for leaking oil. Attach the previously filled syringe with the filling nozzle to the bleed opening and tighten it with an 8 mm open end spanner. The EBT screw for opening the master cylinder is located at the end of the master cylinder unit on the handlebar. Open the EBT screw with a Torx T25 tool. For bleeding at the end of the master cylinder, use a syringe with a hole at the 30 milliliter mark. Before attaching the syringe, pull the plunger up to the hole at the 30 milliliter mark. Insert the syringe into the EBT opening of the master. Thanks to the conical shape of the EBT opening, the syringe seals itself when you push it on. Now, start the filling and bleeding process. Press oil from the lower syringe through the system and then draw it back. Throughout this process, make sure that oil is present in both syringes so that air cannot enter the system. Repeat the process three or four times until air bubbles stop Ziehe rising. während dem Vorgang zwei bis dreimal den Hebel und lass ihn anschließend wieder schnappen, um Lufteinschlüsse im Geber zu entfernen. Block the hole in the upper syringe with your finger to prevent oil from escaping when you remove it. Then, remove the syringe. If necessary, gently press in some oil from the lower syringe so that oil is at the edge when the upper syringe is taken off. Close the EBT opening by tightening the EBT screw. Observe a maximum torque of 0.5 newton meters. Now, you can turn the handlebar by 180 degrees so that it is in position for bleeding on the other side. 
This also makes it easier in the next step to monitor the oil level in the brake caliper. Remove the syringe and filling nozzle from the brake caliper with an 8 mm open end spanner. The oil level in the caliper can be altered by raising or lowering it. The oil should come right up to the edge of the opening to prevent trapping of air in the system during closure. Now, close the bleed screw on the brake caliper with a Torx T25 tool. Check the bite point to feel whether the bleeding was successful and to ensure that no air remains in the system. Thoroughly clean the system before mounting the pads and the caliper. Remove the pad retaining screw so that you can insert the pads. Then, secure the pads by replacing and tightening the screw. Finally, mount the caliper again on the frame or fork. Tighten the screws with a Torx T25 tool and do not exceed a torque of 6 newton meters. Check that the brake works properly and does not leak. You'll find more information in the service section at magura.com. Your Magura dealer will also be glad to help you. If you have specific questions, you can also contact us via the chat feature on our social media channels.